hello guys and welcome back to today's tutorial how are you all doing so in today's club we learn how to make this beautiful off shoulder cape so it's really beautiful and uh, simple so first you have to click take your measurement your round shoulder measurement like what i'm doing here guys this is for the sake of beginners so you place it this way okay this i should take your off shoulder measurement raise your hands shoulder to make sure you are free that is a bit comfortable should not be that tight so just like from your shoulder down to that your cap height three inches or 3.5 inches place it around your shoulder so our fabric is here so i'm just using this for an illustration so you fold it this way so what i have here is body lining you fold body lining. So we'll be working with a, a length of a 48 inches. Okay. So you fix it right from the center of your front line between your bows to your center of your back, right before the zipper. So the weight, I'll be working with 9 inches, but because of the same allowance, I'll be making it 9, 10 inches, like what I did right now. So you place it using two fold here. So you have 24 here. Okay. Place it this way, mark it. So I will cut it out now. Stitch it all around. Okay. So you say I've cut it out. I also run a straight line stitch to secure it. Sorry, my camera couldn't uh, capture that part. So you place it. So I left an allowance, a space to send it in to the wrong, uh, right side. I need to send it into the right side. I give it a very nice press before we continue. So that part, that my camera couldn't capture what I did there is just to cut it out the length of the 48 inches because that 48 inches includes my uh, same allowance. So I just stitch it all around and uh, left about three inches space for the uh, uh, the part we use to send it in like we have here. So I would secure it and show you guys. So, so we'll be cutting out a length of uh, three inches. Okay. So place it this way. We decide to work with four inches. Place it. You have to be in two fold. The reason is this. We need to show it. It will start as body lining. Okay. So I'll place five inches and three inches width. So I'll cut it out this way. So we'll be attaching this right center of our uh, front piece that is in between our bows so cut it out this way so i will secure it all around or the good side to do just two side I'm him the other part, okay, like this, because the center piece now will be right at the, at the wrong side, okay. So see what we have. So it's better this way. So flip it in this way. I will hem this part to cover up the rough edge. Do the same here and show you guys. So guys, we will see what we have uh, through. Find the midpoint that is the center of your cape. Fold it this way. And it goes to my chalk. So you have to mark it or you notch it. 
So the back, you decide to make it over this way, depending on you, how you want it, or you pleat it at the back. Okay, so mark the center of your cape. So that is the part that we'll be placing direct to the center of our front piece. That is in between our bows, this way. So let's quickly move our dress form. Let me show you guys. So guys, we are over to our dress form. So first, you pin it down this way. You can actually use honey to tack it first for those that we are working with the dress form. See the chalk that I marked? So I will place it this way. Pin it down as well, which I will run a straight line stitch later. Pin it down. You can see my fabric is very light. Okay, see, it's not uh, standing, you can see, so it's very light fabric. If you decide to add it, um, stay okay. So I'm just trying to arrange it like what I said earlier is just for an illustration. So this is how it should look like, but make sure you take your round shoulder measurement properly, okay? So it's very really simple, guys. Can you see how beautiful it is? I have actually done this for a client. I use the flare method, but I discovered that this method is the easiest way to achieve this. Okay? So you don't need to find your uh, radius uh, and all that. So this is the easiest way. See how beautiful it looks. So you decide to embellish it. Okay, so you take it to your center of your bada before your zipper allowance. For this, we are working with loops before your lacing. So this is how it should look like. So it's very simple, guys. So please, if you find this video interesting, you like, share, comment, for it to help this channel to grow. Please, please. So this is it. So you won't pin it by the time you want to stitch it or you use your hand needle to tack it. So this is how it should look like. For the bile, what I say, you decide to pleat it this way or you cut it that curvy, like that one I explained earlier. Make it curvy or you pleat it at the back or you, you can even fix it straight. So the back panel uh, part of it is optional. So guys, this is all for this tutorial. So I love you all. God bless you all. Bye for now.